<laughs> I saw you earlier, brother. I'm like, I gotta say, hi, where are you going? Are you going to work? Airport. What? The airport? Why, why are you going to the airport? Uh Already the day has come. It's a real hot one. It's about 30 degrees, about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I got a phone call that uh, I've got a helmet to pick up at the airport, which is about 30 kilometers that way. I could put the miles up there. And I've got the GT Pro, Wolf King GT Pro all charged up. What am I bringing? I've got a water bottle, my helmet, of course. I wear a body camera, backpack, drone in case I find a spot that looks kind of interesting to get up there and get some shots. A little spare battery. Uh, Psych Plus, this is the uh, air compressor and a little portable air compressor and one of those little multi tools. My plan is to hopefully get there and back, but I'll be riding in gear number two at approximately 32 kilometers an hour, 20 miles an hour, and right now I've got 82.8 .8 volts. A quick update I actually switched over from dual motor to single motor. Um, I was just finding that every time I came to a red light, I was spinning tires in dual motor, even on level two. So I'm going to go single motor for a while. Thank you. I'm like, how, how random is this? <laughs> I saw you earlier, brother. I'm like, I got to say, hi, where are you going? Are you going to work? Airport. What? The airport? Why, why are you going to the airport? You're probably going to show this. I will, absolutely. Alex, are you kidding me? Alex, famous tennis player right here in Victoria. Take care. Have fun. Cheers. Isn't that the coolest thing? Sadly, they're all sold out. So no cookies for Tim. Back to the trails. So far, so good. I'm probably over the halfway mark getting to the airport and I'm now at, uh, I think it still says 100%, 80.2 volts. Hmm, that's pretty amazing. Alrighty, so I've made it to uh, Sea Wings, which is right there. And uh, the battery is saying 88%, which I think is extraordinary. I, I don't, that doesn't even make sense to me that it could only be an 88%. Anywho, uh, next stop, going to go across to the airport now, clear customs, pay my duties, and then come back here and pick up the helmet. Customs complete. Back to Sea Wings, who are just basically a freight forwarder. They bring packages across for me from the United States into Canada. I live on the border, but to actually get off the island, drive across the border, come back, will be a pain. They do it every week and they charge us a really small surcharge. So I'll put a link to them down below. So I'm going to be doing a full review of this very soon, uh, but I wanted to just get it out of the box because I can't ride all the way back to Victoria with it. So I'm going to. Uh, Dump the box here and check this little guy out. All electric, running around, cutting the lawn. How cool is that? And it's quiet, I can't hear anything. Except for the airplane taking off. Alright, I just noticed as I'm um, riding along here that my camera just died, so that means that there will be no more onboard camera for the rest of this journey. I'm just going to, your next video will probably just be me at the end of the trip, hopefully having made it all the way back to beautiful Victoria. Oh, it's getting a little bit nerve wracking, 62%, but at least I'm back in Victoria. I made it. <laughs> I actually made it. I was a little worried there for a bit, but um, that means that this electric scooter is by far the longest range scooter that I've ever reviewed. Uh, it, um, it managed to do, I'm going to put the exact mileage right up here, and it did it without any issues whatsoever. I've got about 52% battery left, life left. I've been up to the airport, I've been back down to Oak Bay. Um, you know what, I'm delighted with that. That's even further than the, uh, than the E-Move Cruiser. The E-Move Cruiser actually conked out um, about uh, five or six, maybe two or three miles outside of, uh, of Victoria. So it didn't make it all the way home. Alrighty, what did I like and what didn't I like about the Wolf King GT Pro on this range test? Well, what did I like? The ride, the ride was fantastic. 
absolutely no issues whatsoever. I did notice that I didn't tighten up the uh, the handlebars particularly well, but that's that's totally on me. No fault of its of the uh, of the wolf. I liked having the actual lights on. I liked when I was going through some of the darker spots on the trail that I was able to do that. And the the horn is um, really handy to have occasionally. Uh, one of the things I wasn't a huge fan of, I'm just going to turn the power off and show you, was the uh, the throttle, the thumb throttle. Um, it didn't have cruise control. Now I have read that there is cruise control, but I haven't figured out how to turn it on. So if you happen to know, do let me know down in the comments below. And if you would like to see the trip from downtown Victoria all the way up to the airport on the beautiful Wolf King GT Pro, I'm going to put a link right up here and you'll be able to see it. It's not going to be shown publicly. It's just an unlisted YouTube video. It's going to show the exact same thing. There's no music, nothing. It's just the trip. Hopefully you enjoy it.